Welcome to the Evolution Working Group, the very first working group meeting of 2022. We are on the cutting edge of greatness here and welcome. So let me um, bring up, I am looking for, our readme no longer includes a link to the doc. Well, there's an upgrade. <laughs> um, does anyone have a link to the meetings doc? Oh, wait a minute. I'm in the wrong. I Hang on. Contact. I'm in the I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong. I was on the auger site. Hang on. There you go. This is a. Uh... OK. Thanks. I was in the wrong. In the wrong place. All right, so January 11th, uh, please go ahead and um, she's about Grammarly over the break. And it's popping up everywhere. All right. Oh, this is coming back to me. Looks like the next metric to work on we identified as the change request commits metric and change request reviews I recall working on in our most recent meeting in November, but we did not do anything. We were going to set that aside for now and um, work on this change request commits metric. If, um, if I go to our, let's just check and see if we have any open pull requests. Okay, that's just the change requests and issues reaction. One that we have discussed and need to revisit. And then let's see. I know Matt was planning to, Kevin, do you know if Matt cleaned up the spreadsheet? Uh, I do not know. I, I, haven't, I haven't chatted with Matt in a little while. So uh, we have a meeting set up for later this week on some other matter. Oh, okay, this has moved to the community hand. Wait a minute. Um, oh, wait a minute, that wasn't the metric tracking spreadsheet. That's the one I wanted. All right. So we were, wait a minute. We're going to work on change request commits, and that is indicated. Co oh, that's code changes commits, sorry. Change request commits. All right, so this is the one that um, we are in planning to work on today. And if everybody, if we want to, we can just go in there, maybe pause the recording and work this up. It looks like it's partially developed um, from back in October. And so, there's probably just some editing that we need to do here. Um, I think it might be good to just pause the recording and do some work. What does everyone think? Any, any opposition to that? <laughs> uh, Is there something we should cover before that? Uh, I think there was a, we might want to review, just review change request commits. This is change request uh, commits. What do you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. We, so we, we might want to review a few of the other change request metrics real quick before we jump into this one, just to make sure we're using the same language. Sure. That's a good it's idea. Been, uh, it's been a little... It's been a little while. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think, um, and what better place to go than chaos.community and metrics. Okay. All right, change requests accepted. Seems like a fair place to get going. Change, change requests, requests are defined, are defined as, change as, change as in change requests. Oh. 
Huh. So I would like I would like to uh, <laughs> remind oh. the evolution working group that we are also taking this year to uh, clean shit up. To, oh, sorry. To clean, to clean yeah, stuff to, up. To, to take a look back at our previous metrics and okay, so maybe this ask is ourselves if. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this so the flow is remains that we edit first in a Google document and then update the GitHub repository. If we're making a change to an existing metric, is that, how is that processed? What is the flow there, Kevin? Do we create a new Google document or do we um, edit the repository? Uh, edit the repository generally. Uh, okay. If we're, if we're just doing edits, uh, I don't, we, we haven't, we haven't done the Google document thing in the past unless the, unless right. the change was so drastic that it was, uh, uh, so ch we can't um, we can't do that collaboratively. So yeah, I'm wondering if we should uh, if we should create a issue an issue for all of the metrics that. So I mean, we probably want to keep track of the metrics that we've gone through and checked and edited. I agree. So so maybe uh, some sort of checklist that says, hey, we've reviewed this one; it looks okay. Hey, we reviewed this one. It needs attention. I think that Maybe. we added that to the spreadsheet, right? Didn't we add that of date of last review or something like that? Yeah, I believe that we don't was have added. A, to. We don't have a status on this spreadsheet that I see that reflects something like that. Uh, so I believe that was. They, they're wanting to add that to the uh, the website. Is that correct? The, so the so the website and the actual mm -hmm. release metrics. I think the there's a column. Is that what was proposed? I forget. Um, I know that there was a process proposed for reviewing these. I I don't recall since it's been a while if there was a process defined for how we edit or review existing metrics, or if there's a, it would make sense for there to be a status like released and under review or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't, there's, there may be. Um, so I, I know we've, we've talked about the process. However, I don't think the process was defined across, uh, across chaos. Right. And uh, the, wanna... really the only, Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, do we want to bring this up at the community meeting? That's right after this. It's probably uh, a good idea. Uh, yeah, probably the, the process for review would be. Yeah. Uh, Here we so, go. So, Here is the community handbook. Yeah. yeah I, and Let's I probably see. wrote part of this. Yeah. Uh, in your sleep. How it, from, from <laughs> operationalized knowledge. Okay. However, I don't think, I think this is just guidance on what to look for and not like the actual process. Yeah, I, I mean, I think this guidance in number three, so the first thing we saw under change request, um, wherever that was, change requests accepted, the first thing that we saw falls, I think, into this category three, it's really, the first sentence makes no sense because it's missing the actual name yeah. of the metric. And I would call that a grammar or spelling fix. Um, so it would not yeah, I agree with review. That. Um, yeah. And so maybe, maybe we should step back and I'd create a list like you suggested a minute ago, Kevin, and open an issue where we have those neat little check boxes that Georg created for the release. Maybe you created them, I don't know. The, for the release structure yeah there were there were three of us that worked on that yeah uh, um, do you remember there's like a 25 item checklist for metrics release and we could just create a checkbox for each of the metrics that we intend to review this year yeah does that make sense then, uh yes yeah that makes sense so uh um, so and i'm just thinking we, sorry if i think out loud here maybe we don't want to do those reviews in these meetings because we don't collaboratively edit them maybe maybe if each of us could
take one a month or something and do a PR for any updates or changes. It's just an idea. I'm open to yeah, we could, uh, like moving them to uh, Google Docs and moving them back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think we need to move them to Google Docs. Uh, but we may want to have we may want to we could maybe go through the checklist together. Okay. On it, if once once that's once that's created, we could just do a each meeting. We could do a read through of one of the metrics, go through the checklist, uh, check everything off, and then we could also make a note of anything we we identified in it that needs to be changed. And then from there, we could assign someone to to do the the pull request fix. Mm -hmm. that sounds that good. Might, uh, that might be a decent process. That does sound like a decent process. All right. Uh, so then, if we do if we do one of these uh, a meeting, that'll 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 move us through them, I suppose. I agree. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking through all of our currently released metrics and copying them into this issue. So the, the the checklist that we have, by the way, for the release in general, is kind of it's got two parts to it. One is about the release process in general and mm -hmm. all of the things that need to be ticked to get through the release process. And then the second part of it is actually about uh, the quality of the metric. So if we are creating a checklist, we just need to grab the second part of that existing so this, checklist. Yeah, so this checklist is just, these are the released issues that exist in our working group that we plan to review, which, you know, we may as well just tick through all of them over the course of the year. Yep. And does anyone know the markdown for those little check boxes? It's it's just the uh, it's the square brackets. So put the square brackets in front of change request. Like that. Yep. And I, I there's there may be a space in there as well. That makes sense. But there may but there may not be. Uh, uh, space and markdown. If you do that, usually, it should just work. Yeah. Space and markdown is usually a safe bet. And hopefully this, I may have to um, add dashes so that Markdown doesn't, I don't know if it'll treat this as a line delimiter or not, but we'll find out, I guess. So does the checkbox mean that we've reviewed it or that it needs yes. to be? The check, okay. like the checkbox means that we, like the presence of an empty checkbox suggests that we intend to review it and the presence of a check, I, checkbox. I think, I think there is a, Tag we could to make this check box in Markdown language. Hmm. I know for Oak mode, but for Markdown, I think there is something we'll look for that. You can either have this. the tick or the cross. I don't know, I'm not totally sure what you're saying. No, I'm saying that there is a, a command to write down the Markdown check. If you want uh, it tick like a check or a cross, yeah, yeah, I do. Oh yeah, yeah. do you know what yeah, that is? Yeah, it's an X. If you put a, if you put an if you put an X inside the uh, square brackets, that'll that'll check it off. Right, uh, I know, but you're missing there's a space a, on that first change request. No, I know. I changed it. I changed it because it's like I remember the the issues that we created for release, allowing me to just check the box in Sutu. Yeah, this is yeah, this is it. Yeah, just to but, but I can't uh, save check it the, when you. I can't edit it like like I'm remembering being able to just check the box without editing the markdown. Yeah, when you submit the issue, then you can. Yeah, I submitted the issue. Maybe. Oh, it's not reading the markdown properly then. Yeah, no, right. let me so maybe put a space uh, in, the, in between those brackets. Oh, that could be it. Yeah, that, that, inside the square inside the square. Yeah. Oops. Whoa, my ability to use a keyboard has feigned as, as uh, hmm. Markdown Syntax Hunt 2022. All right. Markdown. Oh, you need a, you need a dash. Uh, uh, you need a dash before the, uh, the box. Okay. 
Like as in so right there, dash. Like okay. Yep. And then a space between the C and the. Right. Yep. I, that should do it. There we go. Yeah, me... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. So I dramatically edit markdown. Um, do we want to, how do we want to proceed then? Because I think this is a good checklist, you know, a good set of goals for 2022 is to review these. Um, and I mean, does anybody have a thought on whether we should move things to markdown to edit or if we should do this? In the, I mean, it sounds like Kevin, you suggested a process through which we remove review or do pull requests and review them on the metrics checklist each week yeah and then so maybe we we make a metrics we make we make a metrics checklist issue for each of these as we go through uh and then in that issue we also collect notes on what needs to be edited and then we assign the and we, then we assign the edit to someone okay so and we can just although uh I mean, that'll create a lot of issues. I don't know if that matters. So if we follow the release guidelines for ones that don't mm -hmm. require, that are just grammar, spelling, um, reference updates. Yeah. You know, anything that falls into this category three, I don't think we need to follow that mm -hmm. full process for, um, that we can just do a pull request, mm -hmm. edit the markdown. And then if, does it still work? in a way where once we've edited the markdown, the website just pulls it in? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so, but we, but we do kind of need to have kind of a formalized way of deciding whether or not it is, it, it does fall into that, that level three that doesn't need a, so we do kind of need that, that formal way of saying, hey, this actually does need to go to review. And yeah. This doesn't need to go to review. Now, my guess is that most of these aren't gonna need to go to review because okay. most of them are probably just going to be some terminology changes or just some basic cleanup. I concur. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's most likely to be the case. I have so, a quick question. Do yeah. we do we have a way to indicate that we have looked at a metric, even if there aren't any changes to it or any substantial changes? I think that's what the that's, that's what Sean box. just created. That's the checkbox, yeah. I think. Okay. Is. Okay. So perhaps we need some language in this issue that says that's what this is. Okay. Uh, and then, and then when we go and we look at each of these individually, we'll create a separate issue that'll run through all of that'll kind of discuss all of this stuff that we're talking about. Okay. Like, is is the quality good? Is the terminology good? Does it need to go to review? Uh, it doesn't, but it needs an edit. Who's going to do it? And we'll assign it to someone from there. And we also have um, things like DEI and um, uh, personal information to look at as well, right? That would go in that in that checklist. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. If we if we use the existing release checklist and just remove all of the process stuff from it, then the the DEI and and that stuff should be included. Okay. In the checklist. So, and I think uh, regarding the data part, uh, uh, I believe the the most of the data work is being done on external document. So we pro but we probably do need to add that. I think we were going to add a a data statement, which is one or two sentences, uh, and I believe that gets added to every document. So a data statement, correctly. and yeah, once again, a... it's been it's been a it's been a couple months. So, uh... is there anything other than a data statement that we intend to add? I remember the is the data statement the I same don't... as privacy, or are those distinct? So I think that so the the uh, I think they're the same, and uh, basically it's just a it's a statement that says, uh, you know. Sometimes privacy is a concern. Hey, check out this document that we created, uh, and it and I believe that goes in the 
it might go in the input at the top of the implementation section. Uh, so really, it's just a it's just a pointer that points to this document that we're going to be creating, or or that has been created. Or do we want I to? I believe. Do we want to tag metrics that we're reviewing as with like a last reviewed date, so that we know when we reviewed this metric last? I think that would be super helpful. I would like that as well. Uh, the, yeah, the question is, where do we do that at? So, I mean, GitHub's going to keep track of that for us. <clears throat> right. I, I mean, I uh, think as far as edits go, I think uh, do we want to add at the bottom or the top edit. of the document? Okay. Yeah, I like I actually I like that. Uh, I like that. Maybe a lot. at the bottom of at the bottom of the document, right after, right after is what is contributors the last thing? Yeah, I think so. You add from a, memory uh, last, here. Yeah, a last a last reviewed date or. Uh, Maybe we call it something else rather than reviewed. So to encompass the fact that it's uh, not just part of the metrics release review process, but it's part of a reoccurring review process. Yeah. And that we may actually want to bring up to the uh, yeah, chaos community can, meeting. I think so. I think since yeah, we should just bring that up in the chaos community meeting. I think that would be also very helpful for people using these metrics just to be, uh, you know, aware that it's a recent metric and that we're, you know, it's not just like some old stale document. Yeah. I'll go ahead and add that as an item on the agenda for the next meeting. Good. Thank you. All right. So I made some preliminary edits to this document. So we did we did get sidetracked a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do we want to continue with this or do we want to jump back to what we were doing before? I, I think this uh, is this is like a good setting the stage activity, and I think if if we wanted to, we could identify maybe each each of us could claim a metric that we're going to review in the in the next month. So not necessarily by next meeting, but by maybe in two, four, two meetings from now or four weeks from now, we've each reviewed one. I mean, at, at that okay. pace, we should be able to get through these all. We don't want to do. We don't want to do. It collaboratively do do like I, one every meeting. Well, I think it's hard to do it collaboratively because we would have to take it into a Google document to do that. Well, not edit it, uh, just review it. Collaboratively. Oh, I, I definitely think yes. I think once the changes are proposed, it would take the form of a pull request, and those would be reviewed in a regular meeting. Would be my thought. And we could determine then if it's just grammar and clarity, or if there's any. You know, material meaning that's been altered. <clears throat> okay, I, think yeah, I was I was thinking I was thinking a little bit more on the front end. I think you were you're you're talking more about a review on the back end. I was talking about more of a review on the front end, where let's just let's just open change request real quick, do a read through, and point out anything that we see. Uh, we could try that. We want to try that on one of them here and see how that goes. And just create a just create an issue, and anything that you see in the metric that needs to be added, just add it to the issue, and uh, just kind of see how that works. That way, uh, that way we have a a few pairs of eyes on the review. Mm -hmm. That seems like to create an issue and then to go to make the edits related to the issue seems like a lot more work than just to have individuals making changes and yeah reviewing, yeah, I and don't reviewing the pull request on the back end uh, armstrong what do you think yeah i uh, go with the individual aspect because if we do it collaboratively it is like uh, double the effort yeah at least because in any ways, whatever we we'll do when we create the 
issue, it will be open for people to give their uh, mm-hmm. input. Well, my guess, my guess is I'm going to see different things than you're going to see in a review. So what's going to happen is you'll go through and do the review and you'll fix half of the things and then it'll it'll come to the meeting and we'll look through it and then I'll see I'll see a few more things and Sean will see a few more things and then it'll have to go back to be edited again more than likely. Uh, so I'm I'm not sure that it adds more work it just moves the work around to different places. It, it uh well it, it the more work that it adds I think that Armstrong and I are seeing are the administration of an issue in each case and the- yeah I agree that, that that could be a little burden burdensome uh however if the if we do that if we if we do that on the front end we can look at and, and say hey this this metric just has a few minor issues these are the these are the small things that need to be done and hey, we don't need to send this to uh, to review. We can just make the edits, right? So, it might be a, a simple matter of going through it and saying, hey, there's you know there's three terminology changes that need to be made. That's it, and we don't need to and we don't need to send it through the uh, review process. Uh, so we just assign someone to do the PR, and then they just do those three things, and then we're good, right? If uh, if we're individually looking at it, then that that individual has to determine. You know, are, am I doing a really full scale edit on this entire document or am I just changing some minor things? I mean, my I, I would. I don't know. Yes, the individual has to determine that. But I think that on the back end, GitHub's tooling is is well suited for doing the back end review and not as well suited for doing the front end review, because if yeah, we do I, a pull, if we do a we do a pull request, then we still can, everyone can actually review the pull request and suggest other changes in the review comments on a line by line basis. And we can sort of reject merging the pull request until those items are suggested. And then we don't have to create an issue. And I think there's, there's just a much more robust back end review process facilitated by GitHub's tooling. Okay. If, uh... If you if you both feel strongly about it, I won't uh, I won't argue further. Okay, I just um, it it just I think is going. We'll find the process flows more smoothly um, and can be executed more asynchronously as well, which which I think will make it easier for multiple people who may or may not even be part of this working group meetings, this working group's meetings to participate. Um, Whereas if we create an issue, it's sort of abstract, I think. So with that in mind, um, perhaps. So do we want to? So do we want to provide some guidance for these the individual people who are going to be looking at these metrics to determine what needs to be uh, um, what needs to be edited? So I, I may take a look at the comments I made at the initi- uh, at the front end of this issue and tell me if there's anything that you would add to that. So review for quality, context, and grammar following the guidelines developed for the release checklist. We expect most of these will fall under three in the metrics revision checklist with changes constituting only spelling, grammar, or clarity edits. Let's let's pull up the, we should pull up the actual checklist as well. And where is that? Because I don't, when I click this link, oops, hang on. No, I don't uh, that link. So, so I don't believe, I don't believe it exists in the handbook currently. So I would just go to GitHub and I would look for a, a closed issue from the last metrics release and just okay. grab it from there. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking for a, all right, I guess I'll look at evolution and then where would we look for that? I guess uh, new, for new a, a closed, closed issue. Oops, that's not it. Closed issue. That makes sense. Yep. And one of the metrics 
uh, metrics candidate release. So your contribution attribution should have it. All right. Yep, there it is. There we go. So content quality and technical requirements are the uh, are the parts that uh, that we would pull out. We don't need that top part. Okay. And then maybe you want to add the, uh, the stuff from the, at the top where you, I think you, do you mention, uh, I'm just taking those sections and putting them here, thinking that maybe this checklist could be copied by each of us in our pull request and we could check the boxes there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so for the, uh, the message in the markdown file, so that only that the technical requirements, that first one that only needs to be done if the metric is being sent through the review process, right? So if it's not part of the uh, uh, that decision process of, uh, is this going to be a metrics review or is this just going to be an edit? Uh, so I think somewhere in this text, you need to make that, you need to add that, lang that language in that's like, we need to decide if this is going to be a, if it's going to fall under that category three, where things, mm -hmm. things that don't need to go to the metrics review. So if, um, so you, you could just copy that text from the, the handbook and drop it at the top. Okay. I see what you're saying. I think like this text here. Yeah. Item three. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just copy that and drop that in right after. Yeah. Oh, well, that copy didn't work too well. Okay. Weird. Apparently, I am not capable of copying. Okay. Copy. Now that got me nothing. That is so weird. Cool. There must be some really funky. St oh, something's funky. Yeah, so should I, I command C or copy C from the keyboard yeah. shortcut? Yeah, I know. <laughs> You'd think that would work. Uh, yeah. Click the click the edit as a PDF button on the t or export, export as PDF. Yeah, maybe you can grab it from there. I don't understand uh, the handbook. Okay. To be honest. <laughs> so. All right. And only this page got me a lot of stuff. Only this page got me four pages, which you can't oh. see. And it keeps gotcha. prompting me to download repeatedly. All right. There we go. Uh, Maybe get rid of that. Ultimately, we need a gardener. Updates. OK, this is a separate one. And this is a separate one. All right, yeah, so just disregard this one. Yep. All right. I don't and then for that, and then Add some language to that uh, the technical the technical checklist down at the bottom. Okay. Uh, if if necessary, <clears throat> for for that top one message in the markdown. Yeah, if necessary. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, so we, we need absolute links for images. That second check marks. So those yes. do need to be abs absolute links. Metric file name, full metric name, lowercase, and oh, a description. Wait a minute. For wait, second check box. Oh, images include markdown and relative links. So, yeah, so those, might, those have, actually have to be absolute look, links. Yeah, that, those need to be absolute links. So uh, that one has been a uh, an ongoing headache for me. Yeah, I, I imagine if it's not an absolute link, they disappear when everything gets reorganized pretty fast. Well, my, my, my understanding is you use you use uh, relative links when the images and the and the other parts of the website are on the same server, and you use absolute links when the images are on a different server. Uh, and technically, when what we're doing is we're doing it on a different server for the website. However, when the when the GitHub documents are being created, obviously that's on the same server. Right. Uh, so there's uh, yeah. uh, a lot Absolute. of people that people are wanting to use relative links because they think they're only creating these documents on GitHub. Right. But they're however, not. you're creating these documents to be used on the website. So the proper thing to do is to actually use absolute links yeah. uh, and relative links. They, they just break all the time. Uh, I've been having that argument with Georg for like a year. Oh. Well, there's a new sheriff in town, so I'm not going to fight you on that. Yep. In a nice way. Yeah, in a nice way. Yeah, no, a, uh... I know, I know, I know. I, yeah, I understand. Um, okay. I think... All right, this this lays out a very nice process. I think that maybe we could, Kevin, if you feel comfortable, or Armstrong, maybe you, one of you could share it in the general meeting here in 18 minutes. Are you not going to be there? I'll be there. I just don't want to need, I mean, I can explain it, but I offer, I would like to offer you the opportunity to explain it. Because I think this actually what we've kind of punched out here is sort of a template I think other working groups can follow, honestly. Yep, I agree. Like this is none of this is rocket science, and we just took the time to think through it. And I think it's useful for other working groups to have this as a thing. Okay. Uh, do we want to real quick decide what we're going to do for the the agenda for the next meeting? Well, uh, I, um, do we want I to assign any of these? That's I was going to ask. Review I mean, metrics. I am I am happy to take an assignment um, to review one of the metrics for next meeting. Mm -hmm. So, do we want to do so, kind of one at a time for now? Just to um, we could yeah we could week, um, uh, we could. Uh, I'm comfortable like if one of you wants to shout out and claim one of these for when you get to it. And I'll, that way we don't duplicate our work. Like I, I can take any of them. So I, I know, I know you're you're busy. Will you be able to do one by next week? Would we? Would we be, be? Would we I, be better? Oh, I laid weeks, it, yeah. I laid it out. I laid it out so that uh, four weeks. Like so, you have not next meeting. You don't have to show up with it, but the meeting after that would be sort of the timing. So not. Okay, so four you weeks. Have to, yeah, I have the four week window. Um, okay. Two weeks, of course, will be tough for me because my semester starts next week. Okay. Do we want to maybe maybe let's assign two then, and uh, sure. uh, just to get the ball rolling, maybe one of us can do it in two weeks for the next meeting, and then you can take the next one for four weeks. Okay. And uh, um, since I'm since I'm making that statement, I suppose I could volunteer to take the one in two weeks. All right. Nice markdown translation, Google. All right. So, who wants? To, what do you want to take, Kevin? Change requests. Yeah, yeah. I'll just do that one first. Armstrong, you want anything? Yeah. The change request accepted. All right, and I'll take change requests declined. And if you want to just rotate the same through the last three here. Yeah, we can. Oh. Uh, Sure. Do we want to add? I think we should add some due dates to these two, just so we can keep uh, keep it rolling. Okay. 
Kevin, you said you uh, would do yours for the next meeting, which would yeah. be this 20, 25th, 2014, 25, yes. 25th, okay. Uh, 125, and I'll do two weeks after that, which would be 211, I believe. Yeah. With, with the understanding that we're all busy, and if you can't get it done, that you'll be forgiven. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Two, two eight is the next Tuesday. For the next meeting, so Armstrong, I'll just take this for two eight, and then we'll then we'll see how it goes with these first three and adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. We have five minutes left. Um, so just set the, uh, you yeah, know, we can just set the agenda then. So, uh, review, uh, so next, next session, we will review change requests and then, uh, I suppose we can also, we can work on change request commits. I don't remember what the what was the the next metric to work on is change request commits and we were gonna what was the review we were gonna review we're gonna review change request commits and then change request reviews um those are the and i believe if memory serves the change request reviews is the one we spent a good deal of time on in the last meeting and we were okay. setting it as yeah i think we were then setting it aside for a little bit oh for language consistency that that's right yeah i think the we we were going to go and go and look at a couple of the other change request metrics and then kind of come back and and look yeah. at this one again because there there's probably going to be some linking so we'll need to we'll need to link them together possibly through other metrics and right. we need to make sure the terminology is all the same okay yep uh, and that that would be I think that's going to be that'll be a concern when we are reviewing uh, these uh, existing metrics as well. Correct. So. Sean, the page, the GitHub page that we were editing to, to restructure your list, can you share the link, please? Of course, yes. It is also in the minutes. Um, let me just put it at the top. Of it. Yeah, it's, um, I know. Uh, I'm just going to make this. All right. I think we got a plan. I'm pretty happy with uh, what we got accomplished here, and I think it'll be helpful to share it with the chaos community. I'm going to defer to one of you two in the meeting to explain it. And you can tell me to pound sand then or not. Uh, yeah, I, pretty... I can talk through it. Okay, good, because I added it to the agenda already <laughs> in writing. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Way ahead of everybody. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, yeah, I can I can left. talk through it because I'm yeah I'm pretty familiar with the metrics template and the review process, so it's probably it's probably appropriate for me to look to talk about it. Probably. All right. With one minute left, I think I'm going to declare a close to this meeting and thank you all for getting 2022 off to a roaring start. Let the chaos continue. Okay. See you all in a few minutes. Yeah, 10. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.